Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me, NomNomNom069, returning with another GDI Plus graphics tutorial in C Sharp. Um, I'm also going to do a repeat of this tutorial series in VBNet, but I'm right now I'm using C Sharp. So we have our uh, fill rectangle in back, which just clears our screen with a, a rectangle the size of our form. That's a color black. Um, I like it. But we don't want to draw images anymore. In today's tutorial, tutorial we will be drawing lines um, basic lines so it's e dot graphics dot draw line and there's we have three parameters for the first function overload on um, the pen we'll do pens dot red and there's a point one and a point two structure um, so we can do new we can create a new point um, we can create it at zero zero and then as a uh, stupid intelligence and a new point at let's say um, 120 uh, 95 and what this does is it creates a red line from the point zero zero to the point 120 95 and if we run this we're going to see a little red line right there looks pretty good now there's also another overload for this function I'd like to color so do draw line and we will come down to the flow x1 um, well no the in x1 y1 in x2 y2 so we'll just do pens dot red we'll go from let's say 50 43 to um, 126 um, Let's do um, 2.11 and draw it. So now we draw a red line from our point 50.43 to 126.211. So this drawing line would be good for like, say you have like a character or something, you can draw like lines where your character went. Um, just a little tutorial I want to throw up, how to do it, how to use these functions. Um, there's also another draw line function I think that takes an array of points or not perhaps yep nope just this uh, draw line maybe it's draw lines um, there's also the draw yep the draw lines function which takes an array of points which uh, draws lines to all those points but we'll not go over that one so uh, thanks for watching guys uh, remember to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys later